Garfield. You made coding challenge number one. Yeah. Right? By Daniel Schiffman. Yeah, coding challenge so number one. Now you haven't really translated anything or anything. You just completed a coding challenge. But it's a really cool one. Yeah, this this, because... this is another example of an infinite simulation. Exactly. This is another example of an infinite simulation. And uh, the, uh, like the Perlin noise terrain, that's an infinite simulation as well. Uh, uh, this infinite simulation is called Starfield. And now, by, by the way, this... We see a lot of stars on the canvas. And you can but see... look what happens. And this is even running inside of 2D. Even inside of 2D, yeah. I can create that. That looks, that looks 3D. <gasps> We're flying through the stars. I've got a spaceship now. <gasps> now what I really want you to do is translate this to JavaScript and then we can use it on a website or something. Yeah. I'm loving it. This is so cool. I'm going... To a really far off galaxy. <laughs> or no. By the way, it's I so decided to stay home and to watch the stars. What did you want to say? Now, by the way, at some point, it's gonna, the simulation is going to stop. Oh, really? It's not. It's not. Yeah, but then you can start it again, right? No, no, no. It's actually going to stop. The, the, but how do you start yeah, again? Because the Z is going to be too low. Or actually, no, no. It's going to never stop because I'm resetting. Actually, I'm actually resetting Z. I'm not adding new stars. I'm actually just setting their location back to the center. Look, when they get off the screen, they just get back to the canvas. Oh, this is the way it works? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not actually adding new stars. Wait a sec. Maybe you can see that if you travel at the most smaller speed. They're kind of popping back. They're popping oh, back. Oh, I see them popping back, yeah. But it's the same way if you're really flying, and you, you because when you cover some distance, then you see new stars. 